Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Nick Fit Living. Yes, I have started a vlogging series which is basically very short videos of things that I do in my day um, to keep myself healthy and living well and happy of course. So for today's video, um, I've been asked to do a kombucha video. So basically, I'm going to show you how I make my kombucha. So the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make my kombucha, I've got hot water, hello, some raw sugar, some black tea and a scoby. It's actually sitting in some old kombucha, which was what it was made in before. So for this process, you will also need a glass or ceramic container, which can hold the amount of water used. I will be using two liters of hot water, so my bowl is going to be hella big. For your utensils, always stick to plastic or wood. Don't use metal because that can spread bacteria. So even though the recipe is really, really easy, you do have to be patient as well. So what actually happens now is I'm just gonna let all the tea bags sit in there and I'll only pull them out when the tea has cooled down to, I say, room temperature or maybe just a little bit lower. And what I'll also do is add the raw sugar, I'm going to get sugar everywhere. It's alright, I'll clean it up. <laughs> and two. Ta da And then what I'll do is I'll leave that to the side and wait till that fully cools down and then I will show you the next part. Hey everyone, uh, this is day two of making kombucha. I actually left it uh, overnight last night because when I came home from work, I felt really lazy. I didn't feel like completing this video. So here we are. Um, the tea has actually all cooled down. So the next part is probably one of the most important steps is actually popping the scoby into your kombucha. Sorry, it's not kombucha yet, it's just tea. This is the first time I'm actually touching a scoby, so I'm a little bit nervous. By the way, make sure your utensils are clean and your hands are clean. I've seen in the videos that you can actually grab the scoby uh, yourself Ooh. but um all right i don't know how the hell i'm gonna do this so you need to pop the scoby in with the old kombucha you have to at least have some of the old liquid in there for it to i guess start fermenting can't get it with chopsticks. I'm going to get some plastic tongs. Split one part. And I'm gonna grab one guy. Ah. Okay. Pop him in here. Ooh. This guy back down. Pour some of this in. Okay, hardest part done. So all that's left now to do is to pour the tea into your selected jar. Make sure to cover it with something which stops anything from falling inside, but also allows it to breathe. And basically you wanna keep your scoby in a dark place, so a place where sunlight doesn't hit. Um, so things like in your cupboard, if you really, really want to, um, but also a place where it stays room temperature, so the temperature doesn't fluctuate in those areas. I like to keep mine in the kitchen in the corner out of the sun. Another tip is to actually not touch your scoby as well. If you shake the bottle, if you keep picking up the jar and looking at it, um, apparently that moves 
I guess a lot of the process that's going on in here and so I think that affects it as well. So you're probably best just to leave it um, for about a, a week or two and you'll see that once it starts fermenting the colour will actually go a lot lighter than what it is now. It's actually quite dark at the moment because of the tea. Um, yeah and in a week and a half you're, you can give it a taste and the longer you leave the scoby sitting in there the more vinegary it's going to taste. So in like a week and a half I'll probably try it and if I like the taste then I'll move on to my fermentation, the second process of fermentation which is where you'll start flavouring the kombucha. So as you can see that's where I popped my scoby out of the sunlight and in a dark place where it can brew.